my name is AJ Pruitt and I am the author of the Anna Thalian series. I'm also a self-published author and I do my own interior formatting. And interior formatting is what this video and this series of videos will be about. Um, so I am going to walk you through all the steps of interior formatting from, I use one of my own books and I took videos from the steps of just having the text and not even having the text in the right font that I wanted all the way up until publishing. So every single step, each video will be a different step. So I'll go in depth into each step, um, as much in depth as you can. Some will be very short, like changing the font type, um, and some will be a lot more in depth, like putting pictures into your manuscript. So if you have any questions about interior formatting, watch this video, watch this series of videos. Also, I have a longer video that talks about many aspects of formatting, and it puts it all in one video so I will link that video below um, this video will be in a playlist once I get more than one video this video and series will be in a playlist but I will also link that long video below so if you um, so if this is one of the earlier videos and you don't find what you want yet you can find what you want in that longer video and you can always ask questions in the comments of course and I'll let you know if it's coming or I'll answer your question right now. This is going to be a troubleshooting video for inserting pictures into your manuscript. So the first thing I want to talk about is if you have ghost lines. And you won't know you have ghost lines when you're working on it in Word. You won't know it until you get your proof copy. So it's kind of hard to see, but there's a line right here that does not belong here. And as I said on my note, it's on the next page too. So there's this line that does not belong. It's a very faint line. And it was on another one of my pictures too. I don't know if I can find it really quick. Um, but that line, um, it's called a ghost line. And it can happen if you have JPEG um, files or if you have PNG files. So I don't think I can find the other one, but it's not a big deal. But this ghost line, um, so Bethany, a different Bethany that I mentioned later in the video, Bethany Myers made a little reel about ghost lines with PNGs. Um, and I don't usually use PNGs, but I did in this book. Um, and when I used the PNG, it made this ghost line. And I cropped it slightly, and then the ghost line went away. Um, and so you can try that. Or you can go to Bethany Meyer. She's at Scribbled Fiction. On Instagram and ask her if you have a ghost line that won't go away whenever you just crop the PNG but if you have a JPEG or a PNG do first try to crop the picture and also try what was wrong here is this is my title page and so I wanted to make this this is actually a picture it's not text I drew my font so this is a picture that I inserted um, and I looked back and it was slightly 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 outside of my margins. I had to turn on my grid lines. You go to the view tab and then you click on grid lines and your grid lines will pop up and you'll see all the grid lines. Um, and this was slightly outside the margin. And I just made it slightly smaller. I think I cropped it just a little bit so it was all inside the margins. And on my next proof copy the line went away. And what's tricky about these is you cannot know in Word or even when you upload it to KDP, it won't tell you that your picture is outside the margins. It won't show this ghost line until you get your proof copy. That's why it's important to get a proof copy so you can see if you have ghost lines. And, get and also three tips for if your pictures just aren't cooperating. I will show you how to do these things later in the video, um, but just a quick overview. So if the spacing around your picture just will not cooperate, insert your picture, don't copy and paste it. Second, make sure the text wrapping is set to top and bottom. Then third, turn on your paragraph marks to check where you have spaces. Sometimes you have extra spaces where you didn't mean to put them or you don't have spaces where you meant to put them. So turn, do all those and if it still doesn't work, um, keep watching the video. I keep watching the video anyway because I talk about other things and show how to do those things. So now I'm going to get into the part where I show you on Word what to do. Okay, so I have something very strange going on with my pictures. So I'm in Microsoft Word 360, and some of my pictures, you can see I have two spaces below this picture, and it, it lines up just fine with that picture. There's no extra space below the picture. And the picture formatting is set, the text wrapping is top and bottom. 
The text wrap is top and bottom. The position is alignment. It has changed on me and I don't know why. So alignment should be centered. Um, the vertical doesn't matter as much. I position that according to the grid lines. And the move object with text is not checked. Allow overlap is checked. Layout and table cell is checked. Okay. Okay, so it's fine. And then I have the pictures at the beginning of my manuscript. You see there's no paragraph marks underneath this picture. Because for whatever reason I moved it around. I messed with this particular one a million times. And it just decided it needed this extra space around the picture. And I cannot figure out why. So let's look at the picture format. Text wrap. Top and bottom. Just like the other one was set to. Um, oh my cow. Don't do that. Don't scare me like that. Oh goodness gracious. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, centered. Move object with text. Allow overlap. Layout and table cell. So maybe it's the move object with text. Maybe we should not check that one. Let's see what happens. Okay. So this is different. No, it still has decided it needs this mysterious extra space around it. So let's check again because sometimes, for who knows why, it, and it moved it again. Um, and it, it moved it again all on its own. Let's center it. Okay. And it still has this mysterious underneath spacing um, that I can't really figure out why. So if I figure out why, I will let you know. If I don't, then I'm not going to make this into a video. Cause it's... And another problem I'm having with, you can see this one's got the paragraph marks and this one down here does not have the paragraph marks. Another problem I'm having is this picture says it is three inches tall and this picture down here says it is three inches tall. These pictures are very clearly not the same height, but when you click on the picture formatting, it claims that both are indeed three inches tall. Click on the picture, picture format, and you can see up here it says it's three inches tall. This picture is three inches tall. It also says that that picture is three inches tall. And it just, I don't understand. I just don't understand. I did crop this picture, and maybe that's what it is. I'll have to check. Oh my cow. Okay, so I went back to the original picture um, in my folder, and I cropped it there, and then I inserted it here, and it did not do the weird space thing. So maybe that is it. Maybe if you crop it in here, it keeps that extra spacing, but if you don't crop it, but I cropped that one. I remember, I'm gonna check, I cropped that one too. Yeah, I cropped that one too. But, whatever, this one's working right now, this one's going with me right now, so try that. Okay, so here I am. Um, I have figured out what the problem is and how to fix it. Thanks to Bethany Adazada, I think is her name. So she has amazing formatting videos. If you have formatting questions or anything, please go to her. You know, I wish my videos, I could say go to my videos for everything, but her videos are amazing. Anyway, so um, I didn't think she would have anything about pictures because she doesn't really have illustrations in her books, but she has her like title page picture which it looks like a font, but it's a picture. Um, so she said how to do this. So this one was one that was messed up. It was the weird size and it would not let me put, it had the weird spacing underneath. Um, instead of doing copy and pasting your picture into the document, go up here, put insert tab, go to the pictures from this device, and make sure your picture is already cropped how you want it and everything. 
and just insert your pictures from here. Um, yeah, and see, I already had the letter and seal, and so I would have, I did just a second ago to see if it worked. I did click it, put it in here. Perfect. It just, it was amazing. So that is the solution if you're having that. So here's an example. Okay, so I have over here, over here, I have my two spaces. I have my cursor lined up before that top space. So I'm going to go up to insert tab, picture from this device. It's going to open up where I've been putting things in already, the right folder. Um, and I want the shelter. Just double click it and it's right there. Okay, so you can see it only has one um, space below it now, but that's because you gotta go up text wrap, top and bottom. And that's gonna put your spaces below it where you want it. Um, I like to have all my pictures with the blurry edges. So do that. I like to make sure, well, before you do your position, do your sizing. I like to have my pictures two by three. So however I can get the closest to that. Okay, let's make it a touch bigger so we can get just a touch bigger. There we go. Um, and then the position is the last thing. Now position is important. Don't just choose one of the presets, more layout options. Um, you want left relative, no, you want center. Center relative to column. Okay. Okay. And it's where it should be now. Yes. Wait. The edges had, did not blur. I gotta blur the edges. Check. Blur my edges. There we go. Now it's where it needs to be. Yes. Okay. So I did the insert thing um, all proper like with this picture right here. And it kept putting that extra space around the picture and it was weird and it had the wrong sizing and everything. And so I went to the original picture in my file folder and I cropped it from there and then I inserted it and the extra spacing was gone. So if you still have a problem, even though you've inserted it and you've done it properly, try cropping your picture and I just cropped just a teeny bit off the bottom, that's it and see if that helps. That's what she did with our wedding pictures. She cropped me right out of them. Nice. Remember, this is part of a series. Please check the playlist to see if you need any other help with any other aspect of formatting. And there's that longer video that you can look at that will be in the description below. Always ask questions if you want to ask questions. This is a difficult process to do your own interior formatting. So please ask questions. Let's help each other. Um, please comment this comment. Please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share this video and this playlist with others so they can find it too and have help too. And thank you very much for watching. Bye. If you want to know more about Anathalian or H.A. Pruitt, please follow me on Instagram at H.A. Pruitt. You can find me on Amazon as an Amazon author, H.A. Pruitt. Please watch my YouTube channel and all my cool videos on my channel, H.A. Pruitt Anathalian. You can find me on the Facebook page, H.A. Pruitt Anathalian. You can follow me on Goodreads by the name H.A. Pruitt and the book Anathalian. Or you can go to my website where so much cool stuff about Anathalian is. The website is hapruitt.com.